I'm going to be showing y'all in today's video how I've already played NBA 2K25 early. In fact, I've already played like 10 plus hours of 2K25. I already played the My Team Rivet City mode. I already got to play Play Now with the NBA and WNBA teams. And I got to test the builder and make tons of different builds. I'm talking guards, lockdowns, centers, ISO builds. I got to test the my court and I even got to play some 3v3 modes with the my player builds. Not only that, I also got to test the new learn 2k mode where I could hop in with freestyle with different NBA players and test out animations and jump shots. So make sure to drop a like on the video right now for more early 2k25 content and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new because you're going to want to see all of these videos pop up on your recommended. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this 2k25 community day vlog. Let's get into the video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And as you can see, I am on my way. Well, this is postcom, obviously, but I recorded a bunch of footage on my way to my community day while there at community day. And uh, yeah, man, we're just gonna go through exactly how 2K25 community day went. So as you can see, I drove to the airport. I'm from Chicago, so I was at the Chicago airport, right? got on my plane and we actually ended up flying all the way to connecticut and i got picked up by someone that 2k sent out they had like my name on this little sheet they were waiting for me at baggage claim they picked me up and they drove me to the hotel uh so we flew into connecticut we uh drove about 30 minutes to massachusetts a small town out there checked into my hotel all paid by 2k so shout out to 2k for that had a nice view at my, in my uh, hotel room. And yeah, they hooked me up. It was a nice room. I ended up going out to go get some, you know, lunch with some other 2K YouTubers like Cole the Man and Solo. And we uh, ended up going to the NBA Hall of Fame, which is right next to the hotel. And this is actually where the event, the 2K community event, was going to be at. So we just walked there, you know, checked it out early. They actually had some cool stuff here. They had like Wilt Chamberlain's shoes like a bill russell jersey like these were all like authentic gear that like these players had worn uh back in the day so this was actually some really cool stuff there they had some michael jordan stuff kareem bill russell larry bird gary payton steve nash uh so yeah some pretty cool stuff to look at ended up meeting back at the hotel you see zach 2k right there <laughs> shout out to zach uh, and all the 2K people that were invited, the 2K YouTubers, ended up meeting back here because 2K was giving us like a little package. So we waited in line, got our package, and they actually hooked up with some pretty cool stuff. They gave me a PlayStation controller, a 2K25 Community Day hoodie, a Double H Custom 2K jersey. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, a 2K Community just bag with all the stuff in it. And then this, which a lot of people were talking about, the Top 10 Rise Elite and some kind of GOAT logo which could be in 2K25, I'm not sure what that GOAT logo is signifying, maybe some kind of XP level. But anyways, uh, ended up going out to dinner with some other 2K YouTubers as well, got back to the hotel as late, so went ahead, got some rest, woke up in the morning, ready to go, and it was time to meet in the lobby around 8 a.m. They got everybody on like some shuttle buses to get ready to go over to the end where the nba hall of fame is because that is where 2k community day like i said earlier is being held at so we got out of the bus and here is the nba hall of fame just right next to a cold stone uh <laughs> ice cream shop kind of crazy but it's pretty big once you get inside of there so it, it was it was kind of an odd location not where i would expect it to be you know i'd expect like this big building but um it's a lot bigger inside than it looks from outside so we ended up getting in there right and uh, it was like the same first floor that uh i had like walked in uh the other day so i was familiar with the first floor but we were all wondering like where are we gonna like play 2k25 at where is all that stuff gonna be at so we ended up walking in and this is like i said this is around like early in the morning so we were gonna have all day to play 2k25 get footage for y'all and that's literally all i did i have a tons of footage so make sure you are subscribed to the channel because i'm gonna be able to start dropping that footage all the way up until the release of the game so you guys can see a bunch of stuff early and maybe even you know get a closer you know look at what your 2k25 build might look like but anyways we ended up having to wait in this line right here to check in to make sure you know that we were checked in and that you know no one was sneaking in here you know and 
get the 2k25 footage that shouldn't be getting it right uh they ended up serving us breakfast too so that was cool and then we were kind of waiting around to see uh or kind of just waiting for things to get started okay you know we were getting a little anxious i was trying to get into that builder okay so your boy was waiting i had my breakfast okay but anyways they had this like theater room that uh, we ended up all filling into and they uh you know talked about how the day was gonna go so we kind of knew what was planned ahead uh so yeah they went over what we were gonna do in the community day they went over the embargo dates if you guys don't know what the embargo dates is it's basically like uh like when we're allowed to release the information so y'all are gonna want to see that but yeah they had evan stack zaro if you guys don't know who those three are right there they're like 2k employees they were kind of explaining all this stuff to us and they were also explaining what we were going to be able to play in or in today's community day right because if you guys didn't know the the game we're playing isn't like the final game it's like a version of it to play certain modes so it's not like we're in like the main menus of the actual 2k25 game but anyways here are the embargo dates so august 27th 11 a.m eastern i'll be able to release the my team rivet city park gameplay learn 2k play now wnba and nba team so basically all gameplay stuff august 27th 11 a.m eastern be here on this channel just make sure you have noties on then august 28th 11 a.m eastern i can show you all the my player builder i can show you all the my court and all that good stuff so yeah they were kind of explaining what kind of access we were going to have to each of these modes so they went over the builder they went over the my court they went over the my team rivet city thing which honestly wasn't something i was expecting we were even going to be able to play i also wasn't expecting us to have access to the my court either um there was yeah so there was a couple things that i was not expecting for us to actually be able to play on and yeah those were the things we were able to play on so those are that's the list of things that we had access to so you know we don't have access to the city or anything like that uh they also had the logo gauntlet um challenge so like creators were going to be able to compete against each other in 3v3 my player and 3v3 my team rivet city modes to compete for a logo vc and all that and i got that gameplay as well um, and I'm going to show who won, who the winners were in this video of those competitions as well. So, um, yeah, that was, that was fun playing that. Cause then we actually got to play with our, my player builds in three V three. So we actually got to compete against each other, test the builds. Now, unfortunately it was all default animations, even though it was supposed to be custom animations and you will be able to put on custom animations when testing builds in the actual final game. But yeah, for whatever reason, the build they had made, uh, the, the game they had given us that day, it didn't let us do it. So that's unfortunate. But anyways, then Ronnie started yapping <laughs> on the podium. He was talking about how, you know, Community Day would went from like four people to now we had like 100 plus creators there uh, the other day at Community Day. So that was kind of dope. And he was just talking about stuff like that and what to expect with Community Day as well. So at this point, I was like anxious. I was like, okay, let's get it. Let's go to the builder. So we all lined up, right? We were still on this first floor right here and we all lined up to get into these elevators to go upstairs to go into the secret rooms to play NBA 2K25. So I was ready to go, okay? You see, I'm walking in. We just got up the elevator. They're they're leading us to this secret back room. So we're like, okay, what's good? where's this at? You see, they got the 2K25 community day uh, signs and around the corner here, is like probably like 50 ps5s or something like that with 2k25 or some kind of version of 2k25 with like certain game modes and certain stuff we can play on it downloaded and ready to go for all of us to play on with capture cards attached to them so we can record the footage to eventually release on our channels so once again make sure to subscribe so you guys can see that and look at this so look at this we got 2k25 2k25 the first look now this is like a demo version of the game you see we got jason tatum on the cover and if you want to pause and look you can see the game modes once again there's the my team there's the builder WNBA, nba there's a uh, learn 2k in there but you guys can't see it there was my core but you guys can't see it because that's in the my player builder and look at all these ps5s this was the room i was in playing like 10 hours of nba 2k25 getting the footage and seeing what NBA 2K25 is truly like. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys did see that tweet. Yes, I 
played like 10 plus hours because guess what i got y'all footage for everything i recorded footage of the my team rivet city park got gameplay of that i recorded a bunch of builds i'm talking a builder breakdown to explain each badge level like and what you unlock with it how to unlock each takeover how to unlock you know hall of fame limitless silver limitless all the badges in the game and what levels you can get them at how to make builds what the thresholds are height what height does this how wingspans affects that how weight uh you know affects this and lockdown builds you know iso builds guard builds center builds every type of build you can think of i was making i was even in the play now testing animations i was in learn 2k testing animations jump shots i was testing the new features with go to shots rhythm shooting the new dribbling i was trying to figure out as well i was in the my core i played 33 my player games against other 2k creators i would literally did everything like i literally don't think that there was a single thing that I didn't do. Like I made sure to record as much footage and to learn as much things as I possibly could in one sitting, just so I could give y'all all the information I could possibly give y'all. But anyways, after this 10 hours of playing 2K25, I got my little SD card with all the footage in it, put it in my bag, and it was time to head out. This was one last look of the room that I was playing in to test 2k25 there were multiple rooms so this wasn't like the only room that we were in testing 2k25 but yeah a little 10 hour session you know what i'm saying it's so light it was finally time to leave uh they ended up taking like a huge group photo uh because they had a basketball court there as well so this is where that was at i also got to play with like that airless basketball they had that there so that was kind of cool to test out as well um but yeah so this is where we took that group photo. Uh, there was a bunch, bunch of 2K YouTubers there. Like really any 2K YouTuber you could think of was there. To be honest, there wasn't really many missing. Like there was just so many creators there. They also had the logo gauntlet there as well. So they had the My Team Championship being played there. I think it was like Uncle Demi versus Carlos. And they ended up facing each other in the 3v3 rivet mode. I can't show that gameplay. So we had to, we had to hide the, you know, the top of the screen there, you know, so y'all can't be seeing that. But Carlos ended up being Uncle Demi. So he got like an early 2K logo. So he ended up winning the championship. So that was cool to watch because they, they had us all down here um because we were done they weren't letting us record any more gameplay trust me if they were letting me record gameplay i would have recorded some gameplay okay but anyways then they had the the my player championship so it was 3v3 my player so they had like chamoma's team taking on fana and iggy's team so they ended up playing each other and of course iggy fana and tough ended up coming up on top so they got a 2k logo early so a lot of fun competition that was going on at the 2k community day event and like i said they they weren't letting us record at this point this is like 10 hours into the event so they were just having everyone watching the championship games because trust me ever any time uh, any type of time i had to record footage i was taking advantage of that time but anyways it was time to get back on the shuttle bus to go back to the hotel we ended up going back to the hotel um at this point it was like what 9 30 p.m around that time and we had gotten there at like 8 a.m right so a full day of stuff they had food back at the hotel drinks as well so i ended up eating some food getting a drink and yeah then it was time to head to bed and that was 2k 25 community day. had an absolute blast but once again i will say i did test everything and i will be releasing videos on literally everything i'm going to release a video on rivet city i'm going to release a video on play now gameplay going over dribble moves dunk packages you know how the dunk meter is how the rhythm shooting is how the go-to shots is how the old new features are how the dribbling is all that stuff i'm going to release videos on the my player builder how you can create a build full my player builder breakdown and then i'm gonna show certain builds that i made maybe what the best builds are or what you can look out for as some good builds in 2k25 or maybe some builds that you can go off of and maybe you can make similar to when you load up 2k25 for the first time so you have kind of like a better you know look or a better you know 
out outlook on what the what to expect really with the builder when you load up 2k25 for the first time and i have my core gameplay as well so yeah if you if you follow my twitter you, you know you saw me tweeting some stuff you know i'll be cooking up with a builder maybe uh but yeah a lot to expect on the channel so once again make sure you are subscribed so you see this early 2k25 videos because whoever watches my early 2k25 videos is going to have a lot of extra information going into 2k25 and is going to have a real advantage going into 2k25 with all the extra information that i'm going to be providing to you guys but anyways hope y'all enjoyed today's video just to give y'all a little outlook on how community day went and how it was but it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'll see y'all in the next 2k25 video